it, it, it's never seemed threatening. This is maybe where this watcher comes in to guard right. over you, yes. to make sure you, you know, so you don't feel that negative energy. With questions still to be answered, Ian decides to hold a seance downstairs in an attempt to solve the mystery of just who this watcher is. If there's any spirit beings in this room with us right now, and you'd like to step forward and communicate, I invite you to do so now. Okay, we've got a gentleman. What's your name, spirit? John. What's your wife's name, John? <laughs> Is Mary his wife? Yes. Okay. That's the Mary that I got last mm. night. Yeah. And why is she so afraid of you? Because she was a whore. Who murdered Mary? John. I did. Come forward, Mary. Don't you dare. Come forward, Mary. So why is he still here? Out of guilt. He's tied to the property out of guilt. Why are you whispering? I'm just trying to explain the situation, John. If you have something to say, say it. Say it and move on. Leave. Before I call Ian back. Leave. You leave. With the spirit John believed to be channeling through Ian, paranormal investigator Stephen Griffiths senses more activity. There's more tapping, isn't there? I think the children are on the landing, actually. That's Daniel trying to come through now. Okay. Oh, shut up! <sighs> Ian, I know you can hear the sound of my voice. We're not going to tolerate this type of behavior. You are spirit and you have no dominion over man. And we're going to shift you to the light, John. No more anger here. This is a home of love and peace. Ian, I know you can hear me, bro. Your it's time to release, nothing. John. Back away, John. Those, those tubs are still on the landing. Yeah, they are. Shh. Ian? He's annoying me now. I think it is the children on the landing. Ian? Come on through, Ian. Can't hear you breathing, mate. I need to hear you taking some deep breaths. I need you to inhale. I'm okay. Okay, mate. Well done. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. The children are hiding, Johnny. Coming up, Ian tries to help the spirit children that he believes are living in Claire's house. Could you call out for me to the children, please? Step forward. But something interferes. Get, get them out now, please, get them out. And the team hold a seance in the hope they can move John on. If you can hear my voice, to step forward and try and communicate. Claire King believes her house is haunted by various lost souls, so she's called in the Living with the Dead team to investigate. Did you hear that? What? You okay? There was. Suicide. Something cold just went brushed past me. They believe they have already sensed a number of entities, including a murderer called John, his victim Mary, who was also his wife, and her two children, Daniel and Rebecca. The next challenge for the team is to try and move on the dark spirit, John, 
which Ian feels is threatening the children. In my opinion, I think we need to um, help the children first. They're a priority because they're, they're young and, and they need our help. Um, I initially thought, thought um, the children was downstairs, but as the evening's kind of gone on, I feel that they're more in, in your room than anything else. And you're going to hate me, Ali. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I do feel that I need to send you in that room on your own. <laughs> Um, there is um, cameras in there. Um, everyone else is going to watch it from the monitor in this room. OK, okay. Um, I'm going to uh, let Claire communicate with you all the way through so there's talk back. At any point you feel uncomfortable, um, you tell me and I'll get you straight out. A nervous Alison heads upstairs alone. The rest of the group can see and hear her via a monitor in the living room. Ali, can you hear me? So she will yes, I can hear you. What I need you to say is, if there's anybody here who would like to talk with me, could you do that, please? If there are any spirits here who would like to join me, please step forward. OK, they're coming into the room now. Deep breaths. Don't worry, though. Well done, you're doing brilliant. Can you now try and ask for Daniel? and Rebecca to step forward. Deep breaths. OK, Ali. I just feel very sad suddenly. OK. OK, talk to her, Claire. OK, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Are you OK? Do you want to ask them? Are you OK to go on? Of course. Daniel. OK, good girl. Daniel. Rebecca, if you're here... Mysteriously, the television begins to play up. Ian believes the disturbance on the monitor is caused by the children's presence. We're going to send um, somebody up there with you. OK. OK. Ian sends Claire's mum, Angela, to offer Alison some moral support. Well done, guys. Well done. Angela, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. OK. Could you call out for me to the children, please? Ask them to step forward, darling, for me, please. Daniel, Rebecca, can you step forward, please? Daniel, Rebecca, will you please step forward if you're here? Whoa. Every Can you still hear me? Yes. Are they with us? Yeah, the camera yeah. just went blank again and then it's come back on. Any more changes? Suddenly, they hear a yeah. noise. What's that? No. There's nothing here. Who, 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 it's not my phone. Who's upstairs? What's that? That's from. It's coming from you. It's not from here. Get get him out now, please. Get him out. Can you get him out quick? <laughs> oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, I put my I've got a fire alarm. Oh. Who broke the sensors? With only Alison and Angela upstairs in the bedroom, who could have triggered the motion sensors? Okay. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the fire alarm. OK. Come, can I...? Ian believes the spirit send John set off the alarm in an attempt to get to the children, so he sends Claire and her friend Amanda to Claire's bedroom to distract John, while housemaid Alison and Mum Angela invite the children into their room to keep them safe. Daniel, Rebecca, if you're here, please step forward. Claire, can you hear me? Yes, I can. OK, Claire, what I need you to do...